there outside of that. There's a cool little dock. You see the dock. You got the bear and uh, a few maps. And this is our this is our studio. And uh, today, uh, this is uh, <clears throat> a little episode called Tanked on Tuesdays. And what we're gonna do is actually live broadcast um, and actually building echo tails. We're gonna show everybody how cool these baits are. We're gonna take an, an echo tail blade bait. And we're actually going to turn the blade bait into what we call the spoon. Um, the system has uh, it, it has been around for seven years, but the, this whole spoon thing that we call the funny bone uh, is real, relatively new in the last couple of years. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, what the original echo tail looks like in the water, and then we're going to build a spoon, uh, the funny bone spoon. I'm going to show you how to do it and how to customize it. And, uh, and then show you what it looks like in the water when we're done. So um, this is, truly is an extremely versatile product line. I invite everybody on Instagram to check out our page on uh, YouTube. That's where we're going to have most of our links right now, just because it seems to be an easier platform uh, to, to run. I'm just a little more familiar with it. But uh, you can see we're, we're very uh, decorative here for all of you watching on YouTube. Um, I am just now getting rolling here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the Instagram page over to the tank. This is welcome to the Tuesday. Tuesday, tank on Tuesday because it's Tuesday and we're going to display the echo tank. So I'm going to turn my camera around. We may have to cut this short. Please keep in mind all this live broadcasting stuff is all new to all of us and um, it's, you know, it's one of those things that we're still fine tuning and we'll continue doing because we're live broadcasting and how cool is that. So um, let's start off here. Tanked on Tuesday. Here's our echo tank built by Bob Schmidt by just at just in case. Awesome, awesome job, Bob. And really quick for those of you that um, are not familiar with the Echo Tail line, um, what it is is it's a blade bait, okay? And we came out with this in 2011, and we came up with a way to interchange the soft plastic tails. Um, we, this is our quarter ounce, and you can see we've got a kaolin. So the blade bait, the Echo Tail blade bait, is a system that allows um, the angler to be able to interchange all of these soft plastics on all these different plastics that are available on the market. Um, our goal was to create a very versatile product line and little did I know uh, several years later how versatile it truly would become with all the new products that were born. So um, with that being said, these holes, you've got a series of holes on the top, you connect your line to them and this allows you to get different vibrations and also adjust to being able to get different, um, adjust to the different weights of all the different plastics that you can uh, experiment with. So I'm gonna put it in the tank just so that you can see how a blade bait maximizes, truly maximizes actions of, of different plastics. Um, so this is a Kalen's grub tail. And right now you can see that it's got a very tight vibration, that's because I'm connected to the front hole. If you look at the front hole where I've got my snap connected, you can see that it doesn't offer a lot of tilt in the head, which means it's going to have a tighter vibration. That's the trade-off. The trade-off is that it doesn't have as much, but it darts. You get a little more side-to-side -side motion. Um, I'm going to now take and show you what it looks like just in the center part. And then I think we're going to get moving on to actually building a funny bone. So the middle hole, meaning if you can see that, let the camera adjust there, the, the middle hole is the hole that uh, we recommend just to start with the products that we rig. Whenever they come rigged, unless it's, unless there's some alternative uh, directions or instructions with the bait if we're running a little bit heavier plastic in general the middle hole is always a good lot good good start I'm gonna zoom the camera in just a little bit so you can kind of see what you're how that plastic is really max I mean you can 
And, and what's really cool is that on blade baits, oftentimes they're, they're fished in river systems and, and even with the s small, the little subtle uh, currents, uh, you're always moving, uh, that, that plastic is always moving and you're using the vibration to get, uh, to, to attract the fish from the distance. So, um, you can work it several ways. You can work it like a jig and plastic, jig and middle. You can cast it out, hop it along the bottom. Um, I'm going to be releasing a video on, uh, coming up in a, in a couple weeks on how to slow jig, how to jig from shoreline. Um, but, uh, with that being said, I'm going to get into the funny bone. Okay, and let me get this adjusted so that you can see this properly. We, and as mentioned, we may have to cut this short. My kids are being very good for me right now, so thank you, Blanchard children. You guys are rocking. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect this just in case for whatever reason we didn't have a good stream. I want to make sure everybody can get a good look at this. Okay. You can see that that's that's what your those are the holes and right now we're attached to that middle hole okay now um what i'm going to do hey how's my i, I see i got four four watchers out there any questions does anybody have any questions post your questions your comments um if i can't get to your questions i'll try to answer them later or um we'll try to address them uh later on maybe next week in another live episode in the meantime here while i get set up with this uh getting this funny bone and explaining the funny bone um be sure to check out if you're interested in uh this video and more videos like it in the link below i have a newsletter sign up um and with that it's called tanked on tuesday you can sign up here and that's where you're going to get um, more information, tips and tricks on how to rig our, our echo tail. It's almost unlimited for the travelers. It really is a verse. It is a awesome product if you're into traveling, even if it's day to day transit. Even uh, doesn't matter. I've got a video coming up on how I pack going from work to home coming up actually tomorrow at 12:30 ish. So now let's get on with the funny bone. This is a 3 8 ounce echo tail. It's got a rounded head. And the way that we take and make this into a funny bone is we start out, okay? This was a blade bait. We just took all the stuff off. You can see the barb that holds the the plastic here and then all the different holes for put, you know, put hanging your hooks off of and then your line attachments up on top. So this is a bear. This is a, a glow in the dark lemon head. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and bend this this uh, curve shape into the body, if you see that. Now, what's really neat about this is I originally, if you're watching, uh, there's a, we've got a few watchers on right now, and if you go down and you look at Ronald Luz, okay, look at, look at his logo, Junior Jigtails. All right, I'm going to switch back over to screens here. And if you take a look, this was an ice fishing product that I'm now converting into a spoon that we can use for jigging or to cast with. Okay, it's the coolest little thing. So these are their uh, junior jig tails. This is their their product here. This is this is the junior jig tail. They come in different sizes. They got a ton of action. We actually tip these off on our ice fishing series, but you can just kind of simply this is what it looked like before I took the. And then it had hooks on it, plus the you know the the blade was straight. So, uh, so that's the first thing. Okay, I'm going to show you how to customize this, which is really neat because if you're on the road, um, like many of us are all the time, you don't have a lot of space to bring a lot of tackle, um, nor do you have really thinking that way. And that's all we've been doing for seven years with this product line, um, in many different forms. So, uh, I think the first step really is going to be here to. Um, ensure that all of our uh, followers and the users of our blade bait uh, echo tail system uh, can truly uh, capitalize and maximizing everything that they're purchasing from us. In other words, how many different ways can you rig this? It's it's almost unlimited. I, I, it, I, I want to be careful with that word, but we are still learning after seven years and we're living and breathing this stuff. I mean, this is, we've scaled it up and down. We have sizes from little bitty guys all the way up uh, to up to a pound for jig and halibut. Um, and some of the stuff we're doing right now 
it's that involves uh, I'm not even going to get into that I'll save that for another day so um, you can see here I've got in my in my little cam here um, I'm going to just show you I'm going to pick this camera up and I'm just going to kind of give you a quick little glimpse as to what I've got what I'm dealing with here and how I'm going to pre-rig this I've got all these cool fly I'm going to I'm going to customize uh, uh, some some fly material uh, so I've got you know some marabou and I've got some mylar let's see if I, I'm not even focusing and you can't even see that here we go there we go okay so I'm going to take and just kind of customize a, a big thing right now I know it, it coming into the hair season for for uh, walleye jigging um, so we're going to take a lot of times I you know plastics maybe just it's not the best thing to use walleye whatever the hey whatever the fish want that's how we're going to feed them so i'm going to show you how to change this thing into a bait that uh you didn't intend on if you own one of these so i'm just using this jerry rigged little vice grips with a hemostat uh something that i'd probably do on the road quite honestly because i don't have a I'm not properly set up for fly tying. I'm going to turn that upside down, actually. And I'm just going to try to keep this really simple. I do have my family at home here, so we got a we got a few things going on this evening. So there we go. And once again, for all of you who's watching, uh, we are right now broadcasting live on Tank on Tuesday. I just showed you what the echo tail looks like before it, we turned it or converted it into a funny bone. You can see that. There we go. Okay, so we got a 3 8 ounce echo tail with the round shaped head. And I will have more videos and tutorials out on the water to actually show you how to work these because it is so cool. All right, so I'm, I'm just, just gonna, gonna go ahead, ahead and start out with, this is just, you, a lot of this material that I'm buying find this at lure parts online. A lot of our tackle, most of our tackle that was prototype, a lot of the parts came from lure parts online before we started, um, you know, while we were in our testing phase. So I'm going to go and also show you a couple more important items. I've got this bobbin here. And I like the larger bobbin only because it allows me to get my hand around it. Um, and I also want everybody to keep in mind, sometimes I don't even use one of these. I just kind of, what's neat about the echo tail is you can kind of hold it too and on the fly. Uh, that's something that I commonly do. So um, I also got a little scissors, also bought at Lure Parts Online. Um, I bought, I've uh, got a little bit of this uh, Mylar. I actually buy this from uh, Chaos Tackle. If you guys are familiar with the, uh, with the Medusa Chaos Tackle, and uh, their Esox Assault Bucktails. I buy this stuff from those gentlemen. So, great company. Um, and, oh, most importantly, the split rings. Anytime anybody is uh, going to want to swap out hooks or build a new lure uh, with a do-it-yourself type system here at Vibrations Tackle, these split ring pliers, I think they pronounce these Xerox, I think. It's X-U-R-O-N. If somebody could give me a confirmation, why don't you go ahead and just type in Xeron. Here it is. Did I pronounce that right? I think I did. Lure Parts Online, it's the best players that I have found for changing and swapping out books on our, on our products. That doesn't mean there's nothing, that there's not anything else better out there. It just hasn't been tried it. So um, let's get moving here. And I'm going to try to, first thing I like to do is just kind of grab a bunch of line here. And I just like to start wrapping it a couple times. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and trim off. I just get it right, I don't tie it off or nothing. I just kind of give it a few turns. If you're watching on Instagram, it's my Instagram. Oh, you're watching the back of my chair, I'm sorry. That probably wasn't any fun. There we go. All right, so give it a couple turns and then what I do here is in order to get a nice clean edge the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay all of my material facing back towards the head and that's how I'm gonna start wrapping it so I'm just gonna tie and tie off and cut off that hard part there 
leave a little bit of a stem, if that's what it's called. So I'm just going to kind of loosely wrap it just to kind of get it started here before I really tighten it down. I think pink and green with this lemon head would be pretty cool. And by the way, lemon head was the color, this particular color pattern was uh, requested by Zach Burgess up in Green Bay, charter captain up there, or at least uh, this color scheme. Uh, he's a big fan of it. He's got one that he, that he did for him. He's got a, it actually has a chartreuse back on a white body. Um, but uh, he is famous in our company for helping us develop the whitefish rig. If anybody's familiar with the whitefish rig, um, Zach Burgess helped us develop that. Um, so now I've kind of got, I've got all that going on. Um, I'm going to just take a little bit of this, this tinsel or this mylar. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of it off here. So I just want a little flash, but I, want, I don't want too much because I don't want this thing to be interfering with uh, the action that it's supposed to get. And I'm gonna kind of hurry this up here because I do have a commitment here. So I'm just gonna add a little flash. Now keep in mind this this is not, this is just an on the, on the fly, no pun intended here, type situation where where it's not, you know, this is not a, a, a production of a, of a product that would be just kind of Something you can do, modify, present in the boat. Hey, if you hear they're they're hitting hair jigs or something like this, you might see a bunch of this. You know, maybe they've been hitting. Maybe you've had fish that have been hitting blade baits or plastics, and now today they're hitting hair. Um, so now you, this is a way to modify something that you already have. And keep in mind these blade baits. A lot of people are are under the impression that you gotta you gotta work these back and have them vibrate all the time. Snap jig, and that definitely has its place in time and is very effective, but um, you know, some of the techniques that we're using, it's not, we're using more as a jig, but utilizing the, the vibration is nothing more than an, an additional attraction. So you can see I'm bending and taking all this hair right now. I'm, now I'm taking it back and it, and really that would be what, what I would do. But before then I'm, I like to get kind of a, kind of really wrap, get some good tight turns on that. And then we're going to take and wrap and kind of bring all this hair back, all this mylar back. That way we can get a nice clean edge and it opens it opens up those holes for allowing us to run a hook. You know, we can pin a plastic back there. You can run a scented plastic. And it really is uh, such a versatile product. I mean, when you buy an echo tail, you're not just buying, it, it's no longer just a blade bait. Like I said, we have we have our larger models, our pike and musky models, we have, I'm gonna spin this around. We have these, um, literally, we have uh, spinner bait attachments that we have ha had help with uh, developing to make the larger funny bones into um, spinner baits. Um, and so it's like a deep water system. You got, a, and it glides. It's such a cool glide bait. Um, take a look back. If anybody can go back into July on our Facebook page, you would see there where uh, Jordan um, Bradley from Wolfpack Adventures, him and his dad go up to Canada, and they put those funny bones up there, gave them a four ounce and some larger, a couple other larger, I think two and a half. Now I'm going to just kind of take this out. This might be sometimes where it's easier. And it, every every situation is gonna be different. It depends upon which way you're wrapping, what kind of material and how much. So I'm gonna just take all this here. I'm just gonna hold it back, okay? And we're just gonna make some tight wraps here. And, and, if, and if nothing else, not only, so you can use it as a blade bait, but I'm gonna show you how to use it as a spoon. Okay, so nice tight wraps. Now I would use some super glue. I think they've got a hard as nail. There, there's lots of different, you know, you could put epoxy over it. 
foot. You want to get a nice clean edge, and that clean edge, if you can see that, let me adjust the camera just a little bit. Um, what it does is it allows, you know, let me get up to the other camera. I apologize as if you're watching right now and you can't see. What it does is it allows this uh, hole to remain open without getting it caught in the hair and the hook and everything. So um, with that being said, what we're going to do here now is, uh, hey, Black Rifle Coffee, great coffee. If anybody ever wants to enjoy a new brand, a new rocking company out there, Black Rifle Coffee is a great company. With that being said, Outdoor Trade Show channel. Uh, subscribe to them. Check out their Facebook page. Partnered up with those guys. Those guys are just awesome. They're into products. If you have a product out there, uh, check out Outdoor Trade Show channel. They will go live with your product. Great people. And all I'm do right now, all I'm going to do is throw a couple half hitches in here. Okay, and I'm gonna speed this up. I would normally be a little more tedious and particular, but I don't have time to really do that, as mentioned, because I have a time commitment. And family is number one. So if you're interested in watching more videos like this, check out our newsletter, subscribe. We do have offers. In fact, we're offering $5 off right now with your uh, subscription on your next order that is $15, at least $15. And then we're also, with that order, we'll get you into our secret uh, VIP Tanked on Tuesday Facebook group where we have lots of cool things planned. So there, there you have it. It's bent. Keep in mind before we had uh, a blade bait and all we did was we straight, we bent it. You could actually bend it after you have all this Normally I would take and tie, tie uh, or, or just put a little super glue. Super glue doesn't take very long to, to uh, harden, which makes it really nice to being able to fish with right away too. So um, now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take and run, I'm gonna just kind of simulate using this as a jigging spoon and you can cast with it too. So I'm gonna take and put that front hook back, okay? And that, where I'm putting that front hook with that split ring, that is where I'm actually going to connect the line. And you can adjust all your actions. It's very tuned. You can tune the different variations of actions that you want or the fish want just by simply putting and changing the bend in the product. So I'm going to turn the camera back over and show you now what the action of the same style lure now has as it behaves. We call this echo tail behavior. Sometimes we have behavior problems with echo tails because during product development, hey, let's face it, they don't always behave the way that we intended. So, here we go. Instagram, are we still live on Instagram? Yep, we're still live. We got one person watching, that's cool. That's cool. We're just trying all this new stuff here. Subscribe, anybody, everybody, if you're watching this and you're new, uh, make sure you subscribe. We're going to be releasing new videos every single Wednesday. We're shooting for that lunchtime hour. I apologize. We've been trying to get it up 1230, but hiccups, as you know, with anything new are going to happen. But moving on, let's take a look at the Funny Bone Spoon. You can use these as a casting bait, too. That You can use them. They glide back and forth really nicely side to side. Um, this here is, I'm going to just show you a close up so you can kind of see what, what we're dealing with here. Now, I don't have this tied to a, I should have a little bit stiffer floral carbon here with this bigger lure um, because of what the floral carbon does, this is actually monofilament, the floral carbon is just stiffer so it keeps a little, it keeps the hooks away from the um, away from the line from getting tangled if you want to work it really radically but here it is I got kids coming down right now but I'm going to show you this is the look at that see how that that shimmy downs like that and the really cool part about when it hits it when it hits the uh, when, whatever the the bottom is whatever the bottom surface is let me see if I'm getting that on Instagram I think am I oh yeah I think so 
There we go. Yes. Okay, so if you're on Instagram, we're actually broadcasting our main switcher is over on our YouTube channel, vibrationstackle.com. Uh, this is the funny bone. It was a blade bait and is now a jigging spoon. When you jig it and you connect it to the hole at the nose where the hook normally is as a blade bait, you can see how this, with that curved body bent up, look at where the hook is positioned, or the uh, if you had a hook, I guess I should say, I don't have time to show you the other way to rig it, but that hook would be, look, I think we caught a, what did we catch here? I think we caught a plastic, another plastic. We did. Oh yeah, we got, we got some more, we got another type of plastic in there from something else. So, um, oh, here comes the kids. Uh-oh, here we go. All right, so good timing. Uh-oh. So here it is, and really quick, the cool thing about this is even if you use it as a spoon, here's the cool part too. Yeah, we got to go here, guys. What we can do is actually convert this over to be still be used as a blade bait, and it still has a vibration. This is how I caught my first walleye um, right after going to the AIM Weekend Walleye Series where I presented this to Denny Fox up there. And I was I couldn't wait to go home and actually finish it. This is how I caught the first walleye, and I do have that on film. It was out of the Rock River. Uh, but here, check out that. Now you have, see all that dives up like that? And it just kind of swims and glides down. I mean, if you want to take and hit the bottom, you want to get something quick down the bottom with all the electronics today, I'm telling you, We've got all these different style baits that you can scale up and down. Lake trout, we've got up to, you know, two and a half, four, six inches, or uh, six uh, ounces, up to a pound for halibut. And this product line is so cool. We have got the coolest things that we've been working on for three years. And uh, it's been kind of a, a long haul, but... We had to restructure a few things, and uh, now we're, we're coming back, and we're going to be a lot of trade shows. Tomorrow, every Wednesday, we have a new YouTube upload. Be sure uh, to remember to subscribe if you're new to YouTube. Um, leave us a comment. Like, share this with your friends. Let us know what you think. And also, make sure you hit the bell, uh, because what that will do is it'll give you notification when we go live. And where that's most important is if we're going to go live unexpected. Our Echo Tail uh, Travel Angler Chatter Report, you can find that on our homepage of our website. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you really quick if I can. I mean, I, I'm kind of lagging here. But that website... Uh, has our schedule posts. Um, we try to update that as, as much as possible. You'll see we've got every, the entire 12 months programmed out. Um, I would only be, if you're new to that, Echo Tail Chatter uh, or the Echo Tail Angler uh, Travel Report that is released every single Monday. Uh, we have reports, tips and tricks, our forecast as to what works when um, so that if you do own our products, you kind of know up, at least up here in the mid uh, Wisconsin area and really Illinois, Minnesota, Michigan, uh, what to expect of our product line that's going to be working and up and coming. So, but check out the tabs. That is a work in progress. We're still making updates to our website. Um, the Echo Tail Chatter uh, uh, blog page is going to be updated and tweaked um, to what I have my vision for to have it be um, as we as we move on, but. Um, I made a commitment to myself and a pledge that I was going to do everything I've said I'm going to do and stick with it. And I don't care if it's not the best. I've got a friend that says the 80-20 rule. If it's 80% good, I'm going to get it out there because it's more important that our... <laughs> there's my baby. There's my little my, Mia. It's more important that our customers know how to use our product line at this point than how professional I can make it. So... Um, leave a comment, share with your friends, like, subscribe, let us know what you think, and uh, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, uh, get the discount, and uh, with your order, you will be um, placed into a, uh, if you're on Facebook, if you're a Facebook member, you'll be placed into a um, kind of a secret uh, group that we have big plans for. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, it's been a pleasure doing this and get a, getting this going. Uh, have a great, have a great, uh, have a great week, and uh, thank you for watching Tanked on Tuesday.